In this class, we will learn how to create custom JavaScript function in order to build custom solutions. Let me start by creating a fresh page for this use case. Click on this plus, create a page. I am giving learn JS function. Click on create. Let me minimize this. I will create two fields over here. One is input text. I will put. I will have a divider in between. Let me drop a divider. Now after this, let me put a divider. Okay. Again, let me add a div. After this, I will put the text area. Let me switch to design and drop it over here. Now what this UI does is it will enable the user to enter the text over here. Let me name this as enter your name. So once user enters the name over here, it will call our custom function, which are, we are going to create now, and it will going to be displaying the greetings over here. Let me rename this text area to greetings. Now, in order to hold the data, what user enters over here for that, I will create one variable. Let me create the variable where name it is of type string. Click on create. Also, in order to have the output from the JavaScript, I will create one more variable that will have where greetings. It will also be of type string. Let's go to page designer. Now, let us bind this to the variable which we now created that is name. Click on save. When the user enters the name and taps out, we want this to initiate the action. So for that, I will create one OJ action event over here that is on value. Here I am going to call the function that is JavaScript function. If you expand over here in the drop down, we are not seeing anything because we don't have a function. In order to create a function, click on this JavaScript over here. Now after the class, we need to create page module dot prototype. After that, we'll name our function as greetings function is equal to function of this will accept the name it will be a parameter over here and now here we will create a body now i will create one return variable the content of this will be hello space will concatenate with the name what we get plus the message will be have a nice day will return result let me format this now switch over to actions now click on this and if you click on the function's name, we will get the greetings function. So the name is exactly same what we see over here. That is greetings functions. We can name according to our use case. So now we have to select the type. The return type will be type of string. In your case, if your return type is of ADP, SDP, any other data type, we can select accordingly. Now, once we call this function, we have to map the response from this to the text area. That is this one. That we will do with the help of design variables. I will drop it over here. Now click on assign over here and map the response of function to where greetings. Click on save. You are done. Let me rename this to assign greetings. Okay, once done, go to page designer. Now we will switch over to live mode over here and type your name. I am typing BNUM learning. And tab out. Now, if you observe, when we tapped out, it is not reflecting the greetings over here. That is because we have not assigned the data value for this. In order to assign the data value, click on this, go to data. Here we have to select where greeting, which will hold the response from our function. Click on save. We are done. Now switch over to live mode. 
if you observe we are getting the greetings as hello undefined have a nice day here we can notice that our custom function is getting invoked but the parameter that is the name value is not getting passed in order to debug this we could have missed mapping the input value to this function so let's now go to the actions click on the function where, where we are making a call to function here there is an input parameters under that there is a parameter name which we created that is this one that we need to pass over here in order to map click on this not mapped and map the where name variable value to the name click on save now switch back to the page designer once you provide the name tab out as you can see this time we are getting the greetings like hello been learning have a nice day let me give some other name one two three and tab out it will reflect instantaneously so like this we can create a custom javascript function in oracle visual builder also we can consume this function with the help of action chain by making use of this call function action available in the list of actions and this action we can trigger as per our requirement here i have triggered based on the on value event